In this video, I am going to show you how to update your Mayhem firmware to version 2.0 in a easiest way. So in this method, you don't need to run any commands. So it's an easy method. All you have to do is you need to get your SD card and SD card reader and you have to uh, just remove your micro SD card from your HackRF uh, one port pack and then you have to insert it in your SD card and connect it with your computer. So let's just do it. Let me remove my SD card. So it's an easy method. So my SD card is connected as you can see uh, and you have to format your SD card. I have already formatted it. Let me just do it one more time. So let me format it one more time. So it's formatted and then you have to go on this link mayhem firmware link and you have to download uh, the uh, this file this mayhem version 2.0 copy to SD card you don't need to download this firmware file because the firmware is already available in this SD card file so you just have to download this SD card file and I have already downloaded it so all you have to do is you just have to uh, extract it and then you have to copy this to your SD card. So let me do it now. So it might take uh, two to three minutes. So let me fast forward it. So all the files are copied. Uh, now let's just remove our SD card and insert it in our port pack. Now let's just turn on our port pack. And over here you can see I'm running version 1.9.1. So let's just update. So we have to go in utilities. And over here you will find flash utility and the new firmware which is port pack mayhem version 2.0 so let's just uh, fire this firmware and let's just do yes and over here you can see it's updating the firmware the red light is blinking and the firmware is updated so now you can see version 2.0 so this is how you can update the firmware and this is the latest version and it has uh, some latest features so now we can uh, you know we can change the user interface which is something new and uh, we can also change some icons over here and there is also uh, app settings option now And they have also modified uh, date and time settings, right? So these are few new features. Uh, we will go through these features in our uh, future videos as well. Also, if if uh, if you are new to uh, port pack and you just uh, assemble your port pack, this uh, this technique of updating firmware might not work. So in another video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware. Uh, using command line so you have to connect your port pack uh, or your hack rf1 uh, with your uh, laptop and then you can run few commands to update the firmware this is what we will see in our coming videos as well thank you